It's more than just a racetrack. It's the most important racetrack in Canada. It has welcomed the Queen, Prime Ministers, celebrities, and everyone that appreciates fancy hats. The Ontario Jockey Club spared no expense in making this dream track a reality. Imagination, faith in the tremendous future of Canada, and $13 million. Woodbine Racetrack is right here at Rexdale Boulevard and the 427. It's run by the Woodbine Entertainment Group, formerly known as the Ontario Jockey Club, which is one of the world's largest horse racing operators. But the history of Woodbine Racetrack is full of royalty, pageantry, and lots of horses. And of course, its original location. Woodbine Racetrack, here, used to be Woodbine Race Course, here. Now please be patient, because this is a bit complicated. Woodbine Racecourse opened right here at Queen Street East and Woodbine, hence the name, in 1874. It would be home to Canada's premier horse race, the Queen's Plate, from the 1880s until the mid-1950s when it moved to, wait for it, New Woodbine Racetrack, right here. The Queen's Plate that is happening this year on August 22, 2021, has been happening in its current location since 1956, and at the old Woodbine for 70 odd years prior. But it wasn't always called the Queen's Plate. It was called the King's Plate. The race is named after the contemporaneous monarch. So what we call the Queen's Plate now will at some point be renamed again. Today is Canada's Derby Day and 40,000 people are crowded into the Toronto famous Woodbine Park to watch the 80th running of the Dominion's foremost turf classic, the King's Plate. Skies are dull, but there is gaiety everywhere and a colorful scene to warm the heart and gladden the eye as the Royal Lando brings the King and Queen to witness the event. In the mid-1950s, the current Woodbine became New Woodbine Racetrack, and this one right here became Old Woodbine Racecourse. In 1963, though, it was renamed the Greenwood Raceway, and New Woodbine would simply become Woodbine. Greenwood held races until late 1993, before officially shutting down on December 31st, 1993. Now in Ontario these days, you will find very few horse racetracks, but that did not used to be the case. Until the mid 20th century, a chap named E.P. Taylor bought up most of the tracks in the province and consolidated them. That consolidation led to the importance of Woodbine and its smaller track for harness racing, Woodbine Mohawk Park in Campbellville, Ontario. Here is a photo of the original Woodbine in 1947. And now, in 1983, and now. Now let's take a look at where the current Woodbine is in 1947. And now, in 1983, and now. Now I'm standing here on the turf here at Woodbine Racetrack. To my right, there's the winner's circle. To my left, the grandstand. And thankfully, there are no horses coming this way. Now the Woodbine Racetrack that we are at today actually is quite different than how it started out in 1956. Located on the western outskirts of Toronto, the new Woodbine is easily reached by Ontario's growing chain of super highways. A special overpass on Highway 27 makes dangerous crossovers and traffic jams unnecessary. Cars flow in quickly and safely. The vast parking areas provide space for over 30,000 cars. Airplane excursions are frequent, and airline travelers are given quick transfer from nearby Malton Airport to the track by chartered bus at the Jockey Club's expense. Pageantry. Thousands of races have been put on here through the years, but the most famous of them all is obviously the Queen's Plate. And look who has showed up to the event. Its namesake. And her mother. And just about every dignitary you can think of. The Queen's Plate is more than just a race. It's an event. Here are some photos from when they were building the current Woodbine in the mid-1950s. Here are some photos of races and events through the decades. The track, though, hasn't solely been home to horse races. Many celebratory and corporate events are held there. For example, here are some interesting photos of 15,000 Jehovah's Witnesses at the track for a conference in 1976. 
quite the change from normal programming. Now to discuss the history of Woodbine is also to discuss the world of gambling. With horse races come winners and losers, on and off the track. But the gambling of today is very different than before. You can do it from a phone app. You can do it off track or in person. But in order to go to Woodbine to see racing, you don't have to be a gambler. And to view many of the races, you also often don't have to pay. Entry is often free and families are welcome in most areas. In 2020, the Queen's Plate had to be put on virtually. And no, I don't mean the horses were controlled somehow by a simulator, but the crowds were restricted due to the pandemic. And this year in 2021, it's back. On August 22nd, the race is back and in fine form. And I'll be there with my hat.